here on Northwest, so rock okay. all parts then. You wanna hear a rap? Are you yeah? local? Every day to the same old Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you local? I'm local. Where are you from? I'm from Craven Park in between Stonebridge, Craven uh, Park, okay. and Church that, Road. That is fine for me That's then. Me. What's your name? My name is Rocco. Okay, how do yeah. you spell it? That's R O C C O, or as the police like to say, Romeo, Oscar, Charlie, Charlie, Oscar. Right, so I wrap around this area. This person called Love in the Community, and it's to do with this area All Church right. Road, Craven Park. Right, check it, here's a rap then. Every day to the same old thing. On my ends, but I'm talking about Wilson, NW10, Harlston, Neeson, Kilburn, yeah, that's my ends. Dolly Seal, Cricklewood, big up to Wembley. Brent, that's the borough, borough, fence rolling on the cover. Men that are hustling cheese, but still they love their mother. And that's the best that they could do to be nice, despite that, but it's still a tight community vibe. It really needs to develop a positive element because when you consider that what it did and the people that used to inhabit this and the people that went to both world wars from this borough and put a hell of a lot into this borough yeah. and this borough used to have the, one of the biggest industrial sites in London. What I like about Brent is I feel like there's quite a strong community feel. Everyone knows everybody. Roundwood Park, um, we all go to a lot and you know, you know everybody there, everyone's really friendly. The big parks to, you know, Roundwood Park, this big open space, um, as well as the sports centre, which is uh, in King Edwards Park, which is from here, no more than 10, 15 minutes walk. Um, the area itself, if I was to go back when I was growing up, um, as a youngster, this was a predominantly white area, very few foreigners. Well, I think Brent is a, a it's a multicultural place with a lot of different nationalities and I believe that everyone has um, their part in the community, everyone comes together, very good neighbours. Maybe try and make everyone smile and be happy and get me because um, maybe everyone smile back at them. Maybe everyone be happy, maybe say hello. Like the other day I said hello to someone. I got no hello back. It was a bit rude, but it was just the way it is, isn't it? Uh, the positive, well, for me as a parent from uh, born from West Indian parents, uh, there's a lot of West Indian shops like Jamaican food. You know, you can get food from our own culture. You know, uh, a lot of record shops that sell our type of music. You know. And it's a kind of multicultural because when, when I was growing up, there was mainly black and Irish. But now, you got a lot of Brazilians, a lot of Portuguese, a lot of Polish. Yeah, so it's mixed now, it's more multicultural. Yes, I've had good memories because I've grown up in Brent um, throughout my life. And... Um, I remember my younger years, um, I had, we could go outside and play uh, with the other children and there was never any problems, fighting or arguing or anything like that. That's what I remember about Brent. So do you think things are different for you guys at your age mm -hmm. than they were for your parents as well? Yeah. In what way? Like, yeah, my mum can have, have an older be. brother to look after her. Like, yeah. You have to be with the right people. <laughs> people because if you're with the neg if you're with a negative crowd, like then me. your life will become negative. Negative and people so have something to say. If you stay positive, you. then you'll mm. be fine. Yeah. They have to be a, a role model to themselves. They, they've got to be a leader. Be more loving. Just loving to the youth because there's not a there's not a lot of youth, especially in Brent, that have that sort of family background. 
And if they do, most times it's dysfunctional. You've always got one cousin that's really not there, or you've always got a dad that's hardly there, or a mum that's doing something that she shouldn't be doing. So it's really about taking people under your wings. Well, it's what well, they're trying. That. They're trying a lot of stuff, really, like building all these community clubs and youth clubs. They're doing all of that. But at the same time, it, there's, it's, there's more to it. There's no point just building a facility where they can come to and not having any sort of guidance. There are two houses down there, family houses, where when we performed in London, there, everybody used to come down to the gigs. And then after that, we'll go to the housing and have parties. And and, and I, I became uh, familiar with the area very, very early in, in, the, in the 70s. And I always liked the vibe around there. I've always found it very um, warm, friendly. And coming back, coming from the Caribbean, it makes you feel very much at home living around them.